Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is problem number nine in communication system. In this problem it is given as the output signal from an AM modulator is S of T is equal to 5 cosine 1800 pi T plus 20 cosine 2000 pi T plus 5 cosine 2200 pi T. Okay, basically this part is your carrier signal this one is your carrier signal let me use the darker uh, color this is basically your carrier signal and basically these two are your side bands because this is upper side band and this is lower side band as we can see from the frequency of these signals but let us solve it mathematically so we are given with s of t let me write this s of t again s of t is given as let me change the color s of t is given as we have 5 cosine 1800 pi t 5 cosine 1800 pi t plus 20 cosine 2000 pi t plus 20 cosine 2000 pi t plus 5 cosine 2200 pi t okay i can write this as let me write this term first so s of t is equal to 20 cosine 2000 pi t and then i am going to write these two terms this term and this term the one with amplitude 5 i am going to take 5 common as an amplitude and i am going to have cosine 1800 pi t plus cosine 2200 pi t okay i am going to write this as it is now i'm going to use trigonometric formula on this and the trigonometric formula that i'm going to use is that cosine alpha plus cosine eta is equal to 2 this is 2 2 cosine alpha plus beta divided by 2 into cosine alpha minus beta divided by 2 fine so i am going to use this formula over here alpha is your 1800 pi beta is your 2200 pi so i am going to have 2 cosine alpha plus beta alpha is this thing beta is this thing so 1800 pi plus 2200 pi which is 4000 pi 4000 pi t divided by 2 because i have 2 over here fine and then we have again cosine 1800 pi minus 2200 pi which is minus 400 pi so we are going to have minus 400 pi divided by 2 but because cosine is an even function so minus has no effect on cosine so we can write the minus 1400 pi as plus 1400 pi so i am going to write plus 1400 pi because cosine is an even function so we are going to have this thing now this is also this is 400 yes okay so now we have s of t is equal to 20 cosine 2000 pi t plus let me write this as okay so this is plus 10 cosine 4000 pi t divided by 2 so this is 2000 pi t, t and this is cosine 400 pi divided by 2 this is 200 pi t okay let me name it as equation 1 let me name it as equation 1 now let let me compare it with the amplitude modulated signal we know that the amplitude modulated signal generally is given as a plus m of t into cosine omega ct which means that this signal is a cosine omega ct plus m of t 
so sin omega ct let me name it as equation 2 now i'm going to compare equation 1 and 2 so this thing is basically my a cosine omega ct so i'm going to equate these two equations so i have a cosine omega ct is equal to what this portion which is 20 cosine 2000 i t now a is the amplitude of a is 20 and omega c is 2000 pi because this is your omega which is in radian per second which implies that frequency will be equal to 2000 pi divided by 2 2 pi which comes out to be 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz so this is your carrier frequency okay let us equate the second part we have equated this with this now after plus we have m of t and cosine omega ct now again the carrier is same this thing is your carrier fine this thing is your cosine omega ct as it was here now this 10 into cosine 200 pi t is your m of t so we have m of t cosine omega ct is equal to 10 cosine 2000 pi t sine 200 pi t so this cosine 2000 pi t is your cosine omega ct fine we have found out here by equating so m of t is basically your 10 cosine 200 pi t So the peak amplitude of this message signal NP that is 10 and omega the omega M which is the frequency of the message signal that is 200 pi which implies that FM FM is the frequency this is angular frequency this is frequency FM is your 100 hertz. So now we have found out some unknown we have found out the amplitude of the message signal that is 10 units or 10 volt I can say we have found out the amplitude of the carrier signal which is 20 volt fine so if you look at here we have found out these two amplitude of the carrier signal has been found out amplitude of the message signal has also been found out first is to find the modulation index which is again very easy to find so mu is equal to mp divided by a so the first portion is is your b portion which has been found out this is your c portion the first portion is modulation index that is mu is equal to mp divided by a which is 10 divided by 20 that is 1 by 2 equal to 0 0.5 so we have also found out the a portion now the d is to find the carrier power pc now we know that carrier power is equal to a square divided by 2 we have found out the a which is 20 so 20 square divided by 2 which is 400 divided by 2 which comes out to be 200 watt fine so we have found out the carrier power next is to find the power of side band now the power of side bands is given as mu square power of side bands is equal to mu square a square divided by 4 now mu is your 0 0.5 we have found out the modulation index so we have 0 0.5 square and then we have the a square which is 20 square divided by 4 so what we are going to have that that power of side bands is 25 watt so this is my ps which is the power of side bands and that is 25 watt next is to find the total power transmitted and that is equal to pc carrier power plus power of side band and that is equal to 200 watt plus 25 watt that comes out to be 225 watt fine now to find the efficiency efficiency is total useful power divided by the total power the useful power is of side bands which is 25 watt and the total power is pt which is 225 volt so we are going to solve this and as a result we are going to have 11.11 percent .11%. the efficiency comes out to be 
one work person. You can also find the efficiency using the, the formula which is mu square divided by 2 plus mu square. Mu is your modulation index which in this case is 0 0.5. So you are going to get the same answer. So now the G portion is also done. The G portion is also done. Now the H and the final portion is to plot the spectrum. The H portion is spectrum. Okay, for the spectrum, I can write this equation which was I think equation uh, equation number one. So for the spectrum, this equation has been written again and I am going to write it in this form a plus m of t into cosine omega ct. So I have written this equation again and I have written it in a plus m of t this is your m of t cosine omega ct. Okay. You can find the Fourier transform and you can also do it directly. Why? Because we have also found out the carrier frequency and the frequency of the message signal. So now we know that the frequency of the upper side band is equal to Fc plus Fm that will be equal to 1100 Hz. Similarly, the frequency of the lower side band that is equal to Fc minus Fm that will be equal to 900 Hz. And these frequencies are also evident from the equation. If you look at there from the equation, this is your carrier signal, this is your lower side band. And if you divide by 2 pi, this 1800 pi, you get 900. If you divide by 2 pi, you get 1100 hertz. So we have the upper side band frequency as well as the lower side band frequency. So to plot it, because message signal is a tone signal, we have tone modulation over here. So we are going to have impulse functions. If I plot frequency spectrum over here, side is my F, this is my zero frequency. So now we are going to have, because the upper side band is 1100 hertz, so we are going to have an impulse at 1100 hertz, which is frequency in hertz. We are going to have an impulse at 900 hertz. This is one impulse and this is another impulse. And the amplitudes of these impulses because the message signal has an amplitude of 10. So the amplitude of these impulses will be 5 which is half of the message signal. Similarly, we are going to have negative pulses as well. So we are going to have minus 900. Sorry, first we are going to have minus 1100 which is the upper side band. We are going to have minus 900. We are going to have the same amplitude impulses which, which are 5. And finally we are going to have finally we are going to have the carrier signal. Now the carrier signal is also cosine. So we are going to have at an impulse at plus minus Fc. Fc is your 1000 hertz. So we are going to have impulse at 1000 hertz and minus 1000 hertz. We are going to have an impulse over here and we are going to have an impulse over here. And again the amplitude of the carrier signal is 20. So the impulse amplitudes will be 10 over here and 10 over here. Fine. So this is the spectrum of this signal. Basically this is your Fc minus Fm this 900. This is your Fc plus Fm this is your 1000 hertz is your fm similarly for the negative side and to find the amplitudes because message signal is 10 so that amplitude will be divided by 2 so we are going to have the amplitude of side bands 5 5 okay similarly the carrier amplitude is 20 so the amplitude of the impulses here will be 20 divided by 2 that is a divided by 2 so we are going to have 10 and 10 so this is the spectrum of this signal which is given to you thank you